Whether you are in Jericho Aquara or close by in Sahara, that Tajuba is a kite spot worth visiting. But a flat and endless. You'll have plenty of space in the water and the most perfect conditions. Reaching it may not be so easy though, as similarly to Jerry, there are no roads and you'll have to cross the desert once more. And once again, there is little information available to help you and the local guides are not willing to give advice if you wish to be autonomous. Today, we will show you how to go from Jerry to the Tatajuba area. And while Jerry has some nightlife and beautiful beaches to windsurf or surf, you can't really kite surf in there, but worry not, as we will guide you to the various surrounding spots starting in this video with Tata Juba. You'll find two main spots in the Tata Juba area, the Tata Juba Lake, a sweet water lake with butterfly conditions, or the Tata Juba Lagoon on the sea, which is also very kiteable at high tide and a great arrival point for your downwinders. Both locations feature restaurants and posada, which is a type of accommodation in Brazil. Before you start, know that you cannot go to Tatajuba from Jerry at high tide, as some paths are flooded. From Jerry, hop in your car and leave through the secondary gate in the south. You'll pass a guardhouse, then head right towards the dune. You'll need to pick up some speed to pass over it. We'll make another video shortly, with many tips on how to drive in the desert. And just after the dune, you'll end up going next to the Jerry Lagoon, which is another location to kite. Then just drive straight along the tire tracks until you reach Guru. And now comes one of the most exotic part of this trip, the Guru crossing. You'll roll your car on a barge and some of the locals will help you cross. Be sure to discuss about the timing of your return trip to make sure you can cross back. After the crossing, you'll arrive in a small village next to which you can kite as well. After that, all you have to do is to follow along the sea. Approaching Tatajuba, you'll encounter a small hut. From there, turn left to reach the lake or go straight to reach the lagoon. In this case, we'll go left, towards the lake. And here once again, you'll be crossing a few dunes, so make sure you keep a lot of speed to clear them. And wow, there you are, the Tatajuba lake. You're now ready to kite and enjoy a nice meal. And while you're getting lost in the intense pleasures of the lake, keep in mind you have to be on time for the Guru crossing on the way back. So, this was quite an adventure. If you don't feel confident doing this, you can also reach Tatajuba by the roads. In that case, just follow your navigation system. It's fairly straightforward. In our next videos, we'll cover some other kite spots in the area, or in the world in general. So if you liked it and if you're interested, subscribe to our channel and like this video.